While Argentine ants are invasive species and are one of the most common nuisance pests in urban areas, they are not only a nuisance pest, but in agricultural areas, they form mutualism with honeydew-producing insects. Honeydew-producing insects are plant-feeding or sub-feeding insects that can lead to significant economic damage to crops. So these insects suck the juices from plants, producing a sugar-rich substance called honeydew, and they use this substance to barter with ants. The ants lack the substance, so they protect these pests from other predators or natural enemies. It is like a dairy farmer protecting his cows. This mutualism may be good for the ants and the plant feeding insects, but it is not good for the homeowners or farmers. And traditionally, people have used spray insecticide to control ant populations, but this creates a lot of environmental issues. Well, liquid bait is an alternative to spray insecticides. Argentine ants just love them. One of the advantages of using liquid bait is that it reduces pesticide runoff. But liquid bait has to be contained in bait stations. A bait station is usually pretty large. It has a dispenser and a reservoir, and it usually looks like a water dispenser for your pets. But bait stations are expensive. The bait spills easily. Sugar water in the bait station goes bad, so they require a lot of maintenance, including tracking, cleaning, and refilling. Well, we are working on hydrogel, which is a super absorbent polymer that can absorb a lot of water. It is like a sponge. Currently, people are using a synthetic polyacrylamide hydrogel to deliver liquid bait to ants directly because hydrogels hold sugar water in bead shape until the ants show up and drink it. This is a cheaper alternative to bait stations and made the bait stations unnecessary. But we found that traditional synthetic hydrogel material has some weaknesses. One of the weaknesses is that it may degrade to a toxic called acrylamide, a carcinogen to humans. So we decided to look for a safer alternative. In the lab, we engineered and made our own biodegradable hydrogel bait from alginate, which comes from brown seaweed. It is a naturally occurring polymer that is actually used in a lot of food products. So it is safe. It is even edible before you add the toxicant. Hydrogel beads are made from optimizing a cross-linking or binding process. During the process of cross-linking, Sodium alginate drops form small and solid gel beads upon contact with a calcium chloride solution. Basically, what happens is the calcium ions from the calcium chloride solution replace the sodium ions in the sodium alginate solution. The calcium ions cross-link the alginate polymers at many points, forming a solid calcium alginate hydrogel bead right away. In the video, we actually added some food coloring in the sodium alginate solution so that you can see the formation of the beads. We also optimized the hydrogel properties. We used different combinations to make hydrogel, varying the concentrations of sodium alginate and calcium chloride. We also used different cross-linking times. We wanted to figure out the best recipe to make hydrogel that would have optimal shape, size, and swelling properties. Well, after successfully engineering the hydrogel beads, the next step was to sift them and rinse them with regular water and then immerse them in a sugar water containing a small amount of toxicant because ants love sugar. We immersed the hydrogel beads for 24 hours. After 24 hours of immersion, the hydrogel beads increase in size. We use a test called ELISA to prove that the toxicant added to sugar water 
was absorbed into the hydrogel beads effectively. When we made the hydrogel bead, we found that it didn't work if we added the sugar and the toxicant directly into the sodium alginate solution before the cross-linking process. One of the reasons was because the cross-linking process affects the concentrations of sugar and toxicant in the hydrogel. As you can see in the video, the red color of the beads shows that the compound added became diluted when we sieve them out from the solution. So in this study, we made the hydrogel beads first and then immersed them in a sugar water containing toxicant later. With this new approach, we were able to ensure that known amount of sugar and toxicant would be incorporated into the hydrogel and the solution would be delivered to ants at optimal concentrations. Well, one of the problems is we had to mass produce the hydrogel beads. So we used a shower head. That's pretty cool. The next thing is we needed to test our beads in the field. So we found five volunteers in the Riverside, California area who agreed to allow us to treat the outside of their houses with our biodegradable hydrogels. We did this during the summer that's the period when you always see Argentine ants marching into your homes. Not surprisingly, the ants were attracted to the hydrogel bead immediately and completely covered the hydrogel bead. One of the things we found was that ants don't really carry chunks of hydrogel back to the colony, but instead they suck the liquid bead from the hydrogel and then return to share the liquid bead with the entire colony. We also found that other insects or animals weren't interested in the hydrogels. However, one drawback of hydrogel beads is that it loses water. Once the beads lose water, the ants aren't really interested in them anymore. But this can be easily solved because the hydrogel beads can be rehydrated using sprinklers and the ants will be attracted to them again. We recorded up to an 88% reduction in ant foraging activities in just four weeks using hydrogels. This is the first study to demonstrate the use of seaweed-based alginate hydrogel as a method to deliver liquid bait to target ants. This has the potential to change the way liquid bait has been used. The use of alginate hydrogel requires a much lesser amount of toxicant than standard liquid bead and sprays. So we achieved our goal because the application of alginate hydrogel bead dramatically reduced the amount of pesticides applied to the environment. At the same time, eliminate the plastic waste of bait stations. And that's a good thing. Yeah, we have a collaboration with the HODL group from UCR and we have some ongoing studies with them to test the efficacy of the alginate hydrogel bait in the citrus orchards around Southern California. We are very excited about this. 